Hello sixth graders, here's a video to remind you of the steps for calculating average time. So remember, whenever we've got a problem where we're trying to find the average time of two numbers, the first step is to add the seconds. And then the second step is to add the minutes. And then our third step is where it gets a little bit tricky. So we've got a decision to make here when we get to the third step. We're going to look first at the minutes and then after we look at the minutes, we might have to look at the seconds to figure out what we're going to do next after we've added the seconds and the minutes. So if after we've added the seconds and the minutes, if the minutes are even, if the minutes are even, it doesn't matter whether or not the seconds are odd or even, just look at the minutes. If the minutes are even, then this is what you're going to do. All you're going to do is divide both the minutes and the seconds by two, okay? And so here is what the example looks like for your reference. And I know that we've done a lot of these in class, but here we've got five minutes, 35 seconds, and seven minutes, 40 seconds. I added the seconds and got 75, and then I added the minutes and got 12. Now, if the minutes are even, 12 is already even, then I don't need to do anything else except for divide them both by two. Because I want my minutes to be even, so that way I won't have a decimal of, of my minutes. So I do 12 divided by two is six, 75 divided by two is 37.5. I put in my labels of minutes and seconds and I'm done. All right, but what about if the minutes aren't even? What about if the minutes are odd? Well, then I have another decision to make. So if the minutes are odd and the seconds are greater than 60, then I'm gonna do this option, okay? Then I'm going to trade 60 seconds in for one minute by subtracting 60 seconds and adding one minute and then I'll divide them both by two. I'm going to do this option because I have enough seconds to trade them in for a minute and make my minutes even. So we'll look at the, that example looks like. Here I've got six minutes, 35 seconds, and seven minutes, 40 seconds. So when I added the seconds, I still got 75. And this time when I added my minutes, I got an odd number. I can't just divide them both, both by two because I have an odd number. And then I have to convert the decimal of the minute to seconds. And we're trying to do this the simplest way possible. So instead, I'm going to look at my seconds. And since I have enough to take away 60, I'm going to do that. I took away 60 seconds. I traded them in for a minute, which I added right here. And then I got 14 minutes, 15 seconds is what's left. And now I just divide them both by two. And my final answer is seven minutes, 7.5 seconds. But wait, Mrs. Williams, what if the minutes are odd, but the seconds are less than 60 and I don't have enough to take away 60 seconds and make a minute? Well, then what we do is we trade a minute in for 60 seconds. And I do that by subtracting a minute and then adding 60 seconds. And then, of course, we will divide both by two. So right here, we've got six minutes, 10 seconds, and seven minutes, 22 seconds. I added the seconds, added the minutes, and I got 13 minutes. So uh-oh, it's odd, I can't just divide them by two. I'm gonna look over here, and this time I don't have enough to take away 60, so I'm going to take away a minute and trade it in for 60 seconds. Now I've only got 12 minutes, but I have 92 seconds. And now my final step is to divide them both by two. And since this is now an even number, it's easy to divide. 12 divided by two is six, 92 divided by two is 46. So my final answer is six minutes and 46 seconds. And that's it. Those are the three different types of problems that you could run into when you are finding or calculating average time. I look forward to applying this in the lab. Go ahead and get to work.